What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Darian with Darian the Dev and in this video we're going to talk about why you should let tech recruiters do their job. If you guys are brand new to the channel, if you're into tech, entrepreneurship, coding, startups, or anything like that, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. That's all we talk about here on this channel. And this one I want to share with you guys the reason why I think you should really let recruiters do their job and actually why it's a good thing to work with recruiters when you're dealing with getting your first job in tech, whether that's for software development, BA, QA, whatever. I used to think that working with recruiters was a bad thing, to be honest with you. Um, I thought it was kind of like this scammy process or they would take advantage of you. But for my most recent job, I actually had the best experience I've ever had with a recruiter. And I really now understand the value of why you want to work with a recruiter and why I'll more than likely be working with recruiters going forward. Just making sure that it's the right recruiter, the right opportunity, all that good stuff. So as with anything, there's good recruiters out there, there's bad quote unquote recruiters out there. But at the end of the day, just knowing these things, I think will help you kind of filter out the good ones from the bad ones and the ones you should work with from the ones you shouldn't work with. All right. So let's jump right into it. The first reason I think it's good to work with recruiters is because they can help find opportunities to fit your level of experience so once you get you know a phone call with them and they've seen your resume you're gonna talk about your background what coding boot camp you went through how you got into coding why you started learning how to code what projects you've worked on how much experience you've had and they're gonna get a really good feel for your level of passion and your level of experience now they might not always be a technical person, the recruiters, but they do understand technical jargon and technical terms and they've dealt with people like you before. So don't go in there thinking you're going to just throw a bunch of terms at them and impress them and stuff like that. You're definitely going to have to know your stuff um, in order to you know, have a recruiter want to deal with you and actually put their reputation on the line to get you an opportunity. But at the same time, they are willing to find things that fit you so you don't have to be like totally senior or you know five years of experience not even three years of experience you know like i said i had one year of experience and the recruiter was able to you know tell by our phone conversation the technical questions that she had for me and looking at my resume and knowing that i had worked at another job for a year she was able to really identify a great opportunity for me and the first one that she presented me with actually ended up being the one uh, my current job now and i've loved it it was such a great and smooth process so they can find opportunities that they know are going to fit your skills and where you are your level of experience the second reason why i think it's good to work with the crews is because they can actually edify your skills and edify your experience to the company so as opposed to you trying to beautify your resume and you know make your portfolio look incredible and all this good stuff i mean which is all great don't get me wrong but at the same time word of mouth and you know personal interactions mean more than pretty much anything we do digitally so having somebody who has a relationship with that company actually be able to vouch for your experience you know is going to be a really big driver in helping you get interviewed and helping you get ultimately hired so that's another big reason why i think you should consider working with tech recruiters so number three is going to follow up with number two and it's basically that you're more likely to get in-person interviews or just interviewed in general because of that relationship that they have and so it's it's a more surefire thing to deal with a recruiter when you know dealing with the companies that they know are hiring at the moment what roles they're hiring for and how much experience they're looking for what they're willing to pay they already know all these things versus you kind of scouring their web and grabbing all these job interviews and filling them out and submitting them over and over uh, and waiting for a response a recruiter can actually call you text you email you and give you an update on whether or not you're a good fit for the role or if you're going to move forward if they're going to interview you what their thoughts on your interview were it's just better to have a, a actual human being point person than wait on an email that says we've chosen other candidates. Number four, again, it kind of follows the other two, but the recruiter had a relationship with that company and I can't express how far that goes because the better the relationship with that recruiter and that company, the better the opportunity for you to get hired. And that's because once these companies get comfortable with good talent that comes through a certain recruiting company, they actually trust them. They actually will believe them when they edify you and they'll want to hear you see you interview you and they'll be excited about hiring you so that relationship that the recruitment company or the recruiter or the account manager has with you know the hiring manager or that company i'm telling you is like a priceless thing is great so take advantage of that because 
if they have a great relationship with the company, then that's a good thing for you as a candidate. All right, guys, the last one, number five, is a big one. It's incentivize you to get higher pay. And I think that's a really big reason why you should also work with recruiters because the recruiter gets paid based on what you get offered. So if you were previously making 35,000, 40,000, and you tell the recruiter that you wanna make 55, 60,000, then they're gonna have a much higher incentive to find you opportunities where they know that the company will be willing to pay that for a certain position or a certain role and that you're a good fit for it because the recruiter is gonna want to obviously leverage you as much as possible to get you the highest pay possible so that you're happy and that obviously you know they get paid so yeah guys those are just my thoughts as somebody who used to be kind of like skeptical of recruiters and now having a, a positive experience working with them i definitely see the value so i just wanted to make this video for you guys to also share that um let me know what you guys think have you worked with recruiters in the past you know, tech, non-technical recruiters, just in general, what's your experience been like? If you're brand new to coding, you're thinking about going to Coding Bootcamp, make sure you guys check out the description box down below. I'm giving out my free intro to Coding Bootcamp course where I give away pretty much everything I wish I knew going into Coding Bootcamp, and it's completely free. It costs your email address only, so make sure you guys check that out. There's also a link down there for a private Facebook group where I add all the other resources that I don't drop in the description boxes of these videos. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. This is Darren with the end of the day. I'll catch you guys in the next video.